Hey, what is up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here. It is Friday. We're driving over to the pet store. Niners got a game on Sunday. We're playing the Rams. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you the God's honest truth. As bad as last week was, that horrible um, game, 10 to 11. I called the bowling shoe ugly once it was all said and done. Um, it, even if we won that game, still walk away saying like what the fuck is going on and we gotta go play the re returning champions the los angeles rams i'm not looking to forward looking forward to that i know rams fans they're gonna text me probably before the game probably during the game and probably after the game niners look bad niners got a lot to fix uh trent williams going down he's gonna be down for a month he is easily looked at as one of the best offensive linemen that there is in football we basically stole him um from washington because they didn't want to pay him i don't know what we ended up having to give him but i would have gave him more if you go back to it last year um late in the year he was uh, plagued by injuries but he played through him he didn't seem like the same uh you know trent williams to me um that uh, we'd seen but he, i mean he's still was good enough to be out there still better than most of the guys out there with them um you know i can tell you that the fighter jets are going over if you hear those because it's the uh uh air show this weekend they're practicing uh before they get it right for uh, saturday and sunday but uh i i got some excuses if if honestly if you want to hear them but um you know if you go back to the off season uh, and you're thinking about what was going down with Jimmy Garoppolo. Uh, the Niners were looking to trade him. Story came out Sunday that they honestly had a deal with Washington that they thought was close to being in place uh, before they said that Carson Wentz was going to be their guy and that's what they were going to go with. Um, it ended up being that um, the, the shoulder injury where Garoppolo decided that he was going to go in for um, some some surgery and, and get some maintenance done. Um you know, I think I think on one hand he did that, so he would be ready. And I think another part of it was like I don't think they're gonna cut me if I'm going in there and getting cut because of what I did for them. Uh, you know, on the field. Um, that's just me. Um, but um, when he came back, they were still looking because there were teams out there, Cleveland, um, Seattle, um, and they were just hoping that another marquee quarterback would go down and somebody was gonna be like, oh shit, we have a playoff caliber team. We don't want to throw it away just using our backup quarterback. We need somebody that's called Jimmy G. Um, you know, basically they had, you know, Jimmy G working out by himself, not taking reps, not working with the squad, not even working with the practice squad. He basically was regulated like, hey, go over there and work with the kickers and the punters on the special teams field. Like, we want you throwing, but we don't want you throwing anybody when you don't want to accidentally to get you hit, having to have you run. We need you 100% healthy. That way, if somebody calls, we're able to say he's ready to go, and it's a plug-and-play situation. Um, this is going to be a tough one. Um, we got we got Kittle back, which is going to be huge, getting him back in the fold, getting him running and playing. Um, Jimmy Ward is now the next guy that I want to see come back from, uh, from injury, uh, only going to make that defense better. Um, defense, you know, you, you look at that side of the ball, Niners not really making that many mistakes. And Eric Armistead, no matter how much I'm not the biggest fan of his, um, him being not being out there last week, it, it, it kind of helped or it kind of hurt the defensive line. Uh, Nick Bosa being out there on that line, he's, he's always going to make that team look, uh, look like, make him look good. He just attacks that quarterback. Glad he's on my team. Um, we're going to have to, you know, basically set something up with um you know running the football showing some sort of life running the ball to open up to to be able to pass against this rams team i'll, I'll tell you the god's honest truth this might be ugly guys this might be ugly but um hopefully you know jimmy g can get on the same page with these guys and you know we can start winning some football games again we gotta we gotta get into those playoffs it's, it's basically that's the only way that this season's gonna look as a success we gotta a Super Bowl caliber team, uh, you know, we got to overcome these Rams. And this is uh, not the way I want to go into a head-to-head -head battle with these guys. But um, let's play them tough.